On the edge of Chinese waters lies an island at the center of many disputes, potentially leading to a third world war. Taiwan, fear mongering or legitimate concerns. Let's take a closer look in this video. Taiwan's tumultuous history goes back to the 17th century when Dutch and Spanish colonizers fought over the island. The Dutch eventually took control. The island was later under Japanese rule for half a century. From 1895 to 1945, at the end of World War II, it was returned to China. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe and like the video to support our work. It's free. During this time, the country was embroiled in a civil war between the Communist People's Liberation Army and the nationalists of the Kuomintang. Defeated, nationalist leader Chiang Kai-shek retreated to the island in 1949 and established an authoritarian anti-communist government, the Republic of China. At the head of the People's Republic of China, Mao Zedong considered this retreat as an illegal occupation and a violation of the One China policy. Today, only mainland China is officially recognized, and it holds a permanent seat on the UN Security Council. But in recent years, China has intensified political, economic, and military pressures on the island. Chinese President Xi Jinping has made no secret of his desire to reunify the island with the motherland, even by force. As of 2023, China boasts the world's largest navy, with 350 warships, 70 submarines, and three operational aircraft carriers, surpassing the US Navy. The Chinese Air Force is also expanding rapidly, with around 2,200 combat aircraft, compared to 330 for Taiwan. China has reportedly deployed over 1,500 ballistic missiles along its east coast, capable of striking Taiwan in a matter of minutes, and with over 2 million active soldiers, the People's Liberation Army is far larger than Taiwan's military, which has 165,000 troops. China's defense budget reached approximately $230 billion in 2022, making it the second highest in the world after the US. The US has made it clear it would intervene militarily if Taiwan were invaded. Over $23 billion in arms sales to Taiwan have been made since 2010, with a mega contract of at least $8 billion announced in 2022. Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan in 2022 was seen as a gesture of support for Taiwan by some, but criticized as hypocrisy by others, as it exacerbated tensions without offering any real progress. Neither side can afford to back down, leading to an inevitable escalation of tensions. Beyond the geopolitical issues, Taiwan also plays a central role in the global economy with its thriving semiconductor industry. Taiwan held 58% of the global semiconductor foundry market in 2022, which are crucial for all our modern connected devices. The island is now the epicenter of a geopolitical fault line with potentially disastrous consequences, reminiscent of the worst hours of the 20th century. Do you think the Third World War could start in Taiwan? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe, hit like, and support us on Patreon if you enjoy our content. And as always, stay curious out there.